Hey, what is going on guys? It is OGC here. Today we have a video going over how to be competitive in Art of Conquest without breaking the bank. Specifically, for less than 25 cents a day, uh, I can show you guys how to be relevant and competitive in Art of Conquest. So let's jump in! Welcome! E aí galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Bem-vindo. Welcome to our community. So the first thing that we, we need to discuss is it's okay to spend some money on a video game. Uh, anything that brings you joy in life, it's okay to indulge. It's okay to um, treat yourself. Uh, you can do this. Um, you don't have to. It, it is a free-to-play phone game. Uh, but if you want to have the best experience possible, I do recommend at least following this bare bones minimum as far as purchases. Uh, this is a very good starting point where you're not going to invest too much money into a free-to-play game, but it's enough to make you relevant in the game. Um, so yeah, let, let's let's talk about the, the purchases. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to buy Jax for $9.99. So I know I said that this is for $0.25 cents or less per day. Now there's one exception, your very first month. Whenever you decide to uh, take Art of Conquest to that next level and um, spend a little bit of money, your first month is going to be the most expensive. From then on out, it's, it's really not going to be that bad, guys. So first month, it's going to cost you $29 doing this method uh, for the bare bones minimum as far as spending. Every month after that, it will be $7 a month. So for that first month, that's a dollar a day, $1 per day. Um, I justified in my head where if I go to work, I work my butt off, I get paid so much per hour. Um, then when I come home and I have like one hour to rest and, and relax or do, do whatever I want on my time, the time that I earned, I want to enjoy that. And if I enjoy that through uh, playing a video game, is spending $1 for that hour or two hours that, that day, is that worth it for a better gaming experience for me? and also to support, support the game that I like. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, it's, it's a dollar. So first month is going to be $29. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to buy Jax. He's going to be the only hero that we purchase. He will be $9.99. The first hero you purchase is uh, $9.99. You want that to be Jax, you don't want that to be anything else. Um, so get Jax. From there, there's three more purchases that we're going to make. The first one is something called uh, Patreon. So with Patreon, it, uh, it it costs 99 cents for the first month, which is like ridiculously cheap. It is the best single $1 that you could possibly spend in this game. Uh, for that $1, you are going to get uh, 3,000 Lenari, which is worth roughly $45 or so. You're going to get uh, 3 potions per day, so that's going to be 90 potions. Amazing. Uh, you're going to get free rush, you're going to get uh, higher gold cap, bronze cap, silver cap, and you can queue up more buildings and or research. That might seem trivial, like the, the extra research uh, queue up times. It might not seem like much. But when you start off on a new tier of research and say you have to go to bed, um, it it can keep the research going for a few more hours. It's actually pretty pretty beneficial. So Patreon is awesome. Uh, you will want to get it even after this first month when when it goes up to five nine. Uh, I'm sorry, four ninety nine or basically five dollars a month. You will want to do that. You get massive amounts of Lunari. Uh, considering the small amount of money you're actually putting into it. Think about it, $1 and after 30 days you, you would have accrued 3,000 Lenari. That, I mean, you can't argue with that. Now, the next thing that we would do is we would get Lifetime Patreon. So this one, if you are really on a tight budget and you don't want to do the, the uh, full $29 within your first month, um, I get it, you know, uh, so, sometimes we're, we're all in college and we got to eat the ramen noodles and everything else. This one is somewhat skippable, but I still wouldn't. I would find a way to make this work. The reason is for the rest of the time that you play on this one specific account, you will accrue 50 Lenari per day. Uh, that adds up over time. That adds up a lot over time. So. Uh, time flies by, uh, whether regardless of whatever you're doing. So after one year of playing, that's going to be an 
insane amount of Lenari that you're going to uh, accrue. So I highly recommend getting a lifetime Patreon as soon as you possibly can. Um, not only does it have a lot of good quality of life features such as the auto pillage and escort, um, although I don't know anybody that escorts all of their stuff, uh, the 3x speed, so doing all of the minute repetitive actions of Art of Conquest, this is amazing for it. Uh, it makes the game much more bearable to play in that sense. Plus you get the Lenari. The last thing that, that uh, I recommend we get in our first month will be for $2. This is the subscription. Every day you will get 30 minutes of rush for your research. You'll get 20% faster training speed. You'll get 10, 10, uh, 10 more minutes for free rush to like finish off research and buildings. Uh, building queue limit goes up, research queue limit goes up, and your shield time goes up. Uh, for two dollars a month now this this is a separate like a distinction between subscription the lifetime patreon and the patreon so lifetime patreon and patreon only affect the account that you purchase it on it's locked in so really just do it for your main account for for those two subscription is different than them subscription affects all of your accounts that are tied into your uh, google play account or your facebook account all of your alts will get the benefits of subscription as well. So for $2 a month, it's really not bad. I do highly recommend it. Again, over time, uh, the benefits from the, the research add up, you're pretty much spending $2 to get uh, 15 hours of research that per month. So that that's really not that bad. It is, I would do that all day if, if I could. So that's where I would spend the money. So for your first month, $29, $1 a day, it would look like Jax for $9.99, Lifetime Patreon for $15, regular Patreon for $1, and subscription for $2. That adds up to $29. It's less than a dollar a day for your first month. Now, what are we going to do after this first month? Great question. We'll cover that right after we hear from our sponsors. So our sponsors is actually you guys. Uh, this this channel, this video, this community is fully self-sustaining. Um, pretty much I suck at this portion I, in advertising for myself. I don't know why I just, I, I, I get all super weird and awkward. So you guys can get super weird and awkward with me too. But a Patreon of, of mine um, has been at, uh, advertising for my Patreon uh, page more than I have. So there's something wrong with me. Anyways. In the description of this video, there is a way uh, to help out the channel if you want to. Um, again, the biggest thing you guys can do is like, share, and subscribe to these videos. Uh, share them in, in, in your house with, with your friends. But if you do want to support uh, beyond that, we do have a merch shop um, where you can get like cool phone cases. Uh, we do have the, the swagger. Um, we got t-shirts. But uh, we also have a pa Patreon. What happens when you sign up for Patreon? You get access to weekly posts. Um, I'm working uh, on making exclusive videos for them, uh, such as uh, what to do with your chakra, where I don't provide any answers, just a lot of thought-provoking thought questions. Or if you want to get perfect dragon growth stats on your dragon, there's a secret on how to do that, and I have a video there kind of giving that away. Um, so th there is some stuff uh, there that's really, really cool that you get first access to most of the stuff and there's a coaching program. So we're talking all this stuff about money. I wasted so much money getting pretty much uh, crap and making poor purchases. Uh, if somebody signs up for a Patreon, depending on, on the tiers, they, they can get coaching. They can do it with me. They can do it with somebody else. Um, and it's a opportunity to sit down and review your account with you, with me together for like may, maybe an hour and come up with a long-term plan and answer all of your specific questions and go through your account because there is so many specific things to this game. So I had to put the plug in. That's the plug. Uh, all the information is in the description. Again, you guys are fantastic. The biggest thing you can do to help out is like, share, and subscribe. So now, what, what do we do after the first month? Now this is month two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, infinity and beyond. Beyond the first month, all you have to do is spend $7 a, a month. Uh, again, all of this is the minimum bare amount. So for $7 a, a month, which is less than 25 cents a day, 
all you would get is the Patreon and subscription. Remember, you already have the Lifetime Patreon, uh, which that, that you have for the rest of your life on uh, your, your main account or whatever account you purchase it on. So you'd maintain Patreon, which would go up to $5 for 30 days. Still a really good value uh, for all of those potions, all of the Lenari and, and benefits and subscription just because I think subscriptions uh, matter. So less than 25 cents a day, um, you, you can get all of that. When it comes to what to spend your Lenari on, especially if you're a free to play player or you're doing like this bare, bare bones amount, what I would recommend is always keep a certain amount of Lenari, whatever you feel comfortable with as far as like an emergency fund. So if you need to take off your flag because you're helping your team for the Imperium fights or your dragon dies, I, I mean that, that type of Lenari adds up. Uh, it creeps up on you and you don't want to be caught with your pants down. So uh, keep a certain amount as a safe amount. With the rest of it, there's a couple different options. So what I've always done since the beginning of, of, of the game when I started was buy the 30 minute rushes in the store. I don't know why. Uh, well, I do know why, but I always get, get them just because they're, they're cheap. Um, they, they offer a big boost. Uh, I, I stopped getting them for the past few months because I haven't been spending really any money besides a couple extra lucky wheel rolls. So um, I've pretty much been following the same program myself for the past few months. So when it comes to the purchases, I stopped getting the rush and I've been saving for the lucky wheels. Uh, with the lucky wheels, you'll get runes, you'll get um, al alchemy stones, you'll get skins. Um, and you'll open up those chests, which will give you those um, the the pay to win artifact materials, along with a bunch of runes and other really cool stuff. So I do think that saving up for the lucky wheel, there's nothing wrong with diversifying, getting a little bit of rush here, here and there for like the building rush. But I, I do think that saving up for the lucky wheel will help you guys out the most. Um, if you are willing to spend more money then what I would prioritize on, and this is probably more for the casual players um, or, or people that are just, uh, you know, hire me because you have so much money. Um, for these types of people, I would buy the sets and I would prioritize above all else uh, your runes. I, I think Chakra is really cool and Chakra is definitely like the hip thing to dump everything into. But the, the reality of Chakra is uh, eventually we all will be maxed out no matter what nobody will ever fully be maxed out with your temple and your temple power is so important um throughout time people will max out their main troops in chakra so uh watch in, in a in a couple more months um everybody's gonna have their main troops at, at level 15 chakra uh, we get so many of the materials for free in the game that uh I just don't see that as a good long-term investment for this game. In fact, I don't think any anything here is a good long-term investment. Open up a Roth IRA. But anyways, uh, I think that going for runes and going for the lucky wheel is the way to go if you're going to put in more money. Now, I, I have said that uh, $29 for your first month, $7 every month after that, less than 25 cents per day, and you can be competitive and re uh, relevant in your realm. That is true, but here's the big but to all of it. I would highly recommend watching the, the videos here and taking the advice. What, what I mean by that is farm the honor. You have to farm honor to be relevant no matter what. Um, you, you need honor. Uh, and be be active, get get positions, do do all of those little things that matter, like moving onto a research tile to queue up, um, getting the appropriate buffs when when you need them, uh, making sure that you prioritize the right research and and focusing on the right heroes and building your heroes the the right way. Uh, and when I say competitive for less than twenty five cents per day, I don't mean you're going to compete with the whales. I mean, you're going to be able to compete with like 90% of the people on your server, um, maybe 95% if you watch uh, the, these videos. It's all very relative, but for the most part, uh, you, you can do extremely well. I, I, I met some people in game that are incredibly strong, incredibly knowledgeable, and, and very good people. Uh, 
and especially with their fighting and they spent like a tiny percentage of, of, of what I have um, because I made some horrible decisions um, but anyways hopefully you guys found something interesting out, out of this uh, if nothing else I hope that you guys have a good day and I'll talk with you guys tomorrow